And I actually, in this one, see how dark it is? I actually put cocoa powder in it because I don't know why I thought chocolate would be good. have the coolest job. I really love this job. So normally I just drive this man to work in the morning and then I come home and then I pick him up at night. But some days he needs me to haul things. And um, let's see. So today he's driving that excavator and he's gonna he's gonna move dirt and stuff. So every day is an adventure. And I never know, I never know how long it's gonna be. So today I'm pretty much gonna be working. And I picked him up at 6.30 and I'll probably get home around one or two. Um, and fortunately for us, I my schedule is pretty flexible. Pepper, I'm homeschooling my daughter and she can work at home with her dad who's working from home so he can help her and it's just kind of fun. It's just an adventure every day. So I never would have imagined that I would be part of a part of a construction crew. <laughs> not a very, not a super valuable part. Um, the only skill I have is being able to drive a car, but I do tow and I can occasionally back up, which is kind of fun. Um, he tells me that I do a good job, so that's fun. Um, but I wanted to share with you my travel food for the day, which is this pemmican. So pemmican is browned meat, and this is in this case it's beef. So I cooked it and then I dried it and then I blended it. So it's like powdered meat. And then you pour tallow or lard over it and I used tallow and I actually in this one see how dark it is I actually put cocoa powder in it because I don't know why I thought chocolate would be good um, so there's just salt and tallow and beef powdered beef in this and the lard or the tallow sorry there's no moisture and then the tallow soaks into everything and so it's not going to absorb moisture so this can stay shelf stable for decades like they found some that's a hundred years old that is totally fine um, so this will last in a car ride for sure so I have had two or three bites and it's very very filling because it's high fat and and protein so this is a really really good road food so I'm just showing you No, yeah. I'm gonna be honest, it's not super delicious. I could probably have put more salt in this one. So non-carnivore pemmican will usually have sweet, either fruits, like raisins or dates or blueberries or something dehydrated, or honey, and sometimes people will put nuts in it. All of those things will shorten its um, shelf stable lifespan but probably make it yummier this isn't super yummy <laughs> gonna be honest with you but for like hiking it would give you tons of energy and for driving a car and sitting in the car for six seven hours which is what I'm gonna be doing today the other travel food that I brought is my homemade beef jerky. So I just keep them in a big container like this and I freeze it and I eat them. Like this is my snack food. This is a meal replacement. It's really good, super salty, and it's just beef. So I know, I know there's no sugar in here because I've made it myself. So this is a really good road food. It's pretty clean not messy that's really good the other the other travel food that I brought today is this beef bottom roast 
that I actually made and canned this month. So I'm going to open this and I'll show you. So this is just cold, shelf stable, and I'm just going to eat it right out of the can. I haven't tried any yet, so we'll see if it's any good. Okay, I opened the roast. It smells amazing. And it looks pretty good. So every bite is coming at me full of fat because of all that liquid fat on the top. But here we go. So that tastes just like what you would think canned beef tastes like. Um, it's very tender. There is some, still some like chewy fat on some of the pieces. Like this one still has some chewy fat on it. And it's totally fine cold. I probably won't be able to eat this whole jar. Fortunately, we're not going to be sitting out here in the sun for ever. But yeah, that is good enough. I'll probably put a little more salt in there just because I really like salt. Um, but that is great carnivore road food. Just remember to bring a lid so that you can close it and it's not going to spill everywhere. Thank you for watching that video. Please like, subscribe, and comment. See you later.